Hey you, welcome back to another episode of Dish Upon a Star. Today we're celebrating the release of Mulan on Disney Plus by making a dish inspired by the animated Mulan. We're gonna be making Mulan's breakfast porridge. You know, it's the thing that Mushu makes for Mulan on the first day of training camp. It's actually a Chinese dish called konji, and it's just rice mixed with a flavorful broth and cooked until it's nice and mushy. And I am so excited to share that with you today. Let's get started. We're gonna start with our rice. We're just gonna take one cup and we're gonna rinse off that rice before we start cooking it. Give it a nice drain there. We don't want it to hold on to any extra moisture because we want it to all be soaked up from the broth. We're gonna take our chicken broth and since I want my porridge a little thicker, I'm gonna use eight cups of broth to my one cup of rice. I'm preparing some leftover chicken and mushrooms to add to my konji just for a little bit of added flavor. Cubed up that chicken, cubed up those mushrooms, set those aside. Off starts boiling, you're gonna add in your rice and this is also gonna be the time when you're gonna add in your veggies. So I'm putting in my mushrooms and I added a handful of green onions for a little extra razzle dazzle. We're gonna cook that for about 25 minutes and in the meantime, we're gonna start prepping our bacon and eggs. As you can see, I'm putting the bacon in the pan, getting it all ready in that smiley face shape, just like Mushu did for Mulan. And I'm going to cook this until it's a little extra crispy because if you know anything about me, you know I like some extra crispy bacon. For our eggs, what we're gonna do is prepare those sunny side up. So I've got some oil here in a pan, heating that up, cracking the eggs directly in there. We're gonna cook them for about three minutes. Then we're gonna tilt the pan and use that excess oil to cook the yolks and set the whites. At about the 15, 20 minute mark, you can add in your meat. My meat was already cooked, so I added it in about two minutes before I finished cooking. Here I am plating everything. Got nice and thick, I love the consistency. Let's see how this smiley face turns out. So I think it looks pretty cute. If I had a bigger bowl, maybe it'd be easier to see the face, but I am super excited to try it. So this is super hot, but everything I read about konji says you're supposed to eat it as soon as possible after cooking, because what's gonna happen is the starch in the rice is gonna absorb the rest of the liquid and it's gonna make it even thicker. And I kind of like the consistency that I have right now. I used an eight to one ratio with my rice. So that's the one cup of rice to the eight cups of broth. And I'm really happy with how the texture turned out. So let's take a bite, bite and try it out. I am super glad that I went with broth instead of water. It definitely adds a lot of added flavor. And I'm so happy that I had chicken on hand and mushrooms and green onions. Those are some of my favorite ingredients to cook with anyways. And this is just really good. Let's, take, let's break the egg in there and see how that tastes, huh? Mm. I really like that yolk. It's very buttery and just adds a next level of creaminess and texture to this congee. It is so good. This was actually a really, really easy dish to make and very delicious. Definitely recommend if tonight, if you guys are going to watch Mulan, this would be a great fun dish for you to make for that. I really like how this turned out. I'm super happy about it. Thank you so much everyone for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe down below. So let me know in the comments below, are you going to purchase Mulan today or are you going to wait till December to get it for free with your Disney Plus subscription? And if you've watched it already, did you like it? Did it live up to the hype? Was it okay without the music? So many questions. Let me know, guys. Thank you so much again for watching. Have a magical day.